We're about to have double dose of that. So this was BVB Legends against Ghana Legends. This coming week, uh, weekend on Friday night, 7 p.m., there is Black Stars. Yeah. All of the Black Stars players, including past and Karen, they're also up against the Arthur Legacy 11 yeah. uh, in this game that will that is double what legends night is the basically all, is what it is game. um let's take a short video from this and then when we come back i'll ask ns what this is all about hi i'm andrea you my name is mustafa yosef my name is richmond Bwachi Yadon. we have a big game coming on the ctb all-star games come to the across Sports stadium on the 17th june 2022 come and join the blaster cheer them up as they say thank you to you for the support that you have given them over the years. And you have the opportunity to see all the stars playing. Troop into the stadium, buy your tickets online. Get your e-tickets. Get your e-tickets. Get your e-tickets by dialing star 713 star 33 star 00 hash or send hash 00 hash to 0242 426427 and follow the prompt. We're waiting for you. All right, you're waiting for us, we are coming. <laughs> Ennis, yes. uh, tell us what this is all about. The CTB All-Stars All game, game yeah. Friday. Yeah, so Friday 17th June from 5 p.m. We're getting together at the Accra Sports Stadium. Okay. Uh, it is special because the, we all know, we're talking about how many games the Black Stars haven't won this year. I think they won their <laughs> first game <laughs> against, the, win this one. Was it the, against the Comoros yes. in, 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 in no, no, Cape Coast? No, in um, Madagascar. 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 In Kumasi, was it? No, no Cape Coast. Coast. A Cape Coast. Okay, so it was the first game they won. And possibly we may win against, Chelsea, uh, against Chile, even if we don't. There's the opportunity for us to win on Friday. Mm. The Black Stars team is taking on... Arthur Legacy, uh, Arthur Legacy 11. Okay. Arthur Legacy uh, is, uh, is a football agency administered by Oliver Arthur. Oliver Arthur okay. is one of, a, one of the foremost football agents, not just in Ghana, but okay. in Africa. Okay. Oliver has been doing this for a while. <clears throat> and currently he has players on his books, including the likes of Efri Aqua, uh, Kujua Samoa now. Uh, there is Richmond Boachi Adam, there's Afrinajan, there's Isaac Kofi, and many other young people. So, so Arthur Legacy can produce for you an easy 11 to take on any team in the world. Yeah. Then the Black Stars team, you know, by virtue of what we have done, qualified to play in the World Cup in Qatar, want to say, okay, let's get together and say thank you to Ghana. It is so important because we don't get these guys come together to play in ceremonial games like yeah. this. This is a ceremonial game but going to be very competitive. And Andrea Yu is leading the lines, leading his boys. And, and, and we're asking for everyone to come to the stadium. It is on Friday evening because when you're in town, you don't have to knock off and go home and say, okay, we'll do it on Saturday, come on. No, no. So Friday, we spend the rest of the evening together. We have a good idea what we'll do for, um, how do you call that? The games you play before the main game, uh, the curtain razor. We have a surprise for, for the curtain razor. And these boys are going to be there to interface, to engage with the fans because these things don't normally happen. Yeah. You know, and, and we're looking forward to it on, on, on Friday, the 17th of June at the Accra Sports Stadium. Interesting. Uh, and uh, tell us about some of the, apart from the Black Stars team, we know all of those who are coming. But yeah. for the After Legacy 11, yes. who are these guys that are going to be playing up, lining up against the Black Stars Okay, team? so I, I've been, let me try and, and, and produce a mental picture. Uh, of, of what we, we will see on the day. So in Arthur Legacy, I mentioned earlier that Kujua Samoa will play, Isaac Kofi will play. He recently won uh, the Turkish Cup with his club. Yeah. Uh, Free Aqua will play in the middle of the park. That's a veteran of two Africa Cup of Nations competitions. Afinajan is, is about Ghana's sensation now. Yeah. Uh, one we're hoping to, to blossom, uh, to develop and blossom as, as our main striker. And then there are some very good players too who will be uh, playing in the Arthur Legacy 11. For the Black Stars team, you, you can count on all of them from Razak Brahima to Fatal Dauda to Gideon Mensa to Samuel Inkum to Suleiman I mentioned some of the old guys who will be yeah. coming through as well. We all know the story of Suleiman and how he's governed some level of support, interest, yeah. and following for the Ghana Premier League. So he will be there as well. Andrea, and then, and then we've, oh, we've got Andrea and his brother. 
and we've got um, from Bachi, Richmond yeah, Boachi, yeah. Yadom, Waris. When was the last time you saw Ben Achampon play? Uh, yeah, mm. uh, former Santi Kotoko, it was yeah. Sportive du Sahel. Last Bene. time I heard about yeah. him, I actually interviewed him Great. when he was in Qatar uh -huh. fighting his uh, fighting his <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> Bene Champon is playing, yeah. Imano Boatin is playing, of, of Dalian Yifang is playing. And then, we haven't watched Aziz Tete play football for yeah. Ghana mm. at the Black Stars level. Yeah. He was a phenomenal player in, in the under-17 team. And we've talked about how these people, sad players, haven't gotten the opportunity to play in the Black Stars team. Aziz Tete will be there. Awal Mohamed will be there. Uh, Kasola Mohamed, who played for the Qatar national team for 10 years, will be there. It is a star-studded team on both sides. And for us, I mean, for the fans who are coming, the main thing is these guys who play the ceremonial game, but before and after want to spend time with the fans. They want to take photos with the fans. They want to, you know, dance to some good music. We have some good artists coming to perform, etc., etc. It is primarily to say, guys, we thank you for the support over the period. Okay. Uh, I ran up to the World Cup uh, to qualifying for, for Qatar 2022. And we couldn't have done it without you. So that's what we're celebrating on, on Friday night. Yeah, interesting. Um, for uh, a lot of the fans that are looking to get tickets, obviously, mm -hmm. Um, there's an e-ticket platform where they can get tickets. Yeah. Mm. There you see. There you see it. Uh, yeah. uh, and uh, you, <laughs> there are those who are saying, hey, okay, we like e-ticket, yes. But some of us are going to come to the stadium. We'll be waiting for you. If you don't have your e-ticket, you come to the stadium. We, yeah. we know what to do to get you into, into the stands to watch the game. So, but you see, when you get your e-ticket, it's easier. You get to the venue and you just get in and, and you can find a comfortable place to sit. But even if you don't get your e-ticket, come to the gate. We know how to get you in there. The tickets are so, so affordable. Yeah. Uh, tickets are going for as low as 30 CDs, 50 CDs. 30 CDs. Yes, 50 CDs mm. and 100 CDs. 100 CDs for Lower. the top, top, top uh, VIP uh, area. Yeah. You know. So the tickets, are they are not pricey at all. They, yeah. are, they are easy, easy. What, easy what else is happening? Today. Uh, apart from the game on that on, on that night, is it just a football uh, or it's all right. like a whole uh, fanfare? Uh, all right. So the the CTB is cultural trade, but yes. cultural is is football in in Italian. Italian. And over the years, Arthur Legacy, my my partner Oliver Arthur and and, and his company, he's uh, done a lot of business in Italy. is is a stronghold. He's taking a lot of players to Italy. So there's a special bond and relationship between Arthur Leg the Arthur Legacy family, and the Italian embassy. So the, the two organizations are collaborating to do this with the support of the Ghana Football Association okay. and the Ministry of Youth and Sports. And we're widening the scope of the CTB. You are the CTB or three years ago, was yeah. it? Uh, we haven't done it for two or three years because of COVID and, 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 and other issues, mainly because of COVID. So bringing it back, we thought we'll expand it a bit. And the expansion means we're doing a seminar on the Thursday, which is the 16th at Kempinski. It's open, it's free, but for a limited number of people of because it's strictly by invitation as well and we're focusing on player exploitation you know so the theme of of, of the whole project is stop player exploitation safe football and okay. you know, so that we can have conversations with young people who are engaged in football at every level and not just them officials uh, club owners club administrators officials etc et yeah. so the seminar is on is on thursday the the 16th then the football game is on Friday from 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, at the Accra Stadium. Then on Saturday, we crown it all with a, with a climax, which is yeah. the dinner and the awards night. There are six awards we're giving away and one honorary award for an individual who is, who is distinguished himself contributing to football the last three decades. 32 right. years or so he's been doing football. Wow. And it's a very special one. And uh, there are people who have also done different things, you know, to, to, to make football what it is in this country. And right. we will be recognizing them for, for their respective roles. So the yeah. dinner and the awards night is the climax is on Saturday, the 18th at Kempinski. But that's strictly oh, by so invitation. So, so what allows us to interface with the public is the football game on, yeah. on Friday. So come there. When, when you come for the football game, there will be no need to worry about the dinner. Because yeah. the dinner will not be as special as spending time with these boys yeah, at the yeah. Accra Stadium. Uh, that's right. So uh, it's very packed um, this year, uh, but uh, the crown moment, of course, being the dinner, but the one that is most accessible to all of us is the football game on Friday, 
uh, June 17. So be there at the stadium um, from 5 p.m. Uh, the Black Stars, all of the players, both active mm -hmm. and those that you thought or felt should have been called up, mm -hmm. but not called up. They will be there. You get to see them play um, against another Legacy 11. Uh, I believe you also have international players coming in. Yes, yes. They are non-Ghanaian uh, non -Ghanaian players. Where, where we know Frank Kessier, who plays with Milan, wow. and is recently signed for Barcelona. We're not sure if that deal has gone through, because I was hoping he wouldn't leave Milan. But if the guy <laughs> wants to go, you can't do much about it. He's confirmed he's coming. I know Milan fans in this country are really looking uh, forward I to it. I have one on my he's, desk. He's, got, <laughs> he's called the president. We'll, we'll try and convince him not to go. He hasn't signed the deal with Barcelona, I understand. So we'll try and convince him to take our offer so he stays. <laughs> so Frank Kessier is coming. Uh, there are other players who are working on to be okay. here on, on, on Friday for, for, for the, for the All-Star game. All right. Uh, that is what it is. Very exciting stuff. Mm. Friday. So... Um, like Kenneth said, if you don't uh, have a ticket and you're not into the whole e-ticket thing, mm. that's okay. Just go to the stadium, 5 p.m. on Friday. Hey, it's Friday evening. Go watch yeah. the game after that. Go have a party. There's a somewhere. big party. There's a big party after the game. Big party. At, inside I, the stadium? No, yes. I get the sense it will be the biggest outdoor party for free. Where in the yeah, stadium? In the it? stadium, of course. In the on stadium, the right after the game, on the pitch, in the stands. Yeah, setting, big, oh, yes, big pa speakers. Big party, yes. Oh, Charlie, big party. Charlie. We want to make it fun. We want to start celebrating our participation in the World Cup yes. before we go, so that uh, Danny won't say that. Ah, look at them. They went to the World Cup. They lost their first game. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Let, let's let's celebrate before there was we go. Now, when we used to do <laughs> send out parties. <laughs> yes, we yes, 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 yes. Send out games. What? One national team, one of the African national teams, won a game recently and gave uh, what the government gave each player 30,000 or what gave the team some huge sum, some yeah. money oh, With, without even booking a place in the in, in the tournament in the finals yeah you know but why well, sometimes you celebrate eh? you celebrate yeah. before the real thing so yeah. we're celebrating qualifying to be in Qatar don't forget we're not yeah. in I think it was Ethiopia in wasn't Russia it? Yeah, Ethiopia they, also they Egypt yes <laughs> so why why can't we also celebrate yeah. Beating Nigeria, uh, FSS. Right so let's go and celebrate. <laughs> it's very important. So anyway, let's come and have a party <laughs> together. They said they a did a massive party for the Ethiopians. Funniest <laughs> thing is, they didn't even play the game in Ethiopia because they don't have a, they don't have a standard stadium. stadium. <laughs> um, 